103.9, The Lab. Harry, are you there? Hi, Jamie. How are you? Harry, how are you? Everybody over there at The Lab. Holy we're doing that. We're doing good. We're doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing so fine. You know, I'm here in my place at Dearborn and Kinsey. It's a beautiful morning in the big city of Chicago. Sure. Now, now, Harry, what happened last night? Well, you know, we got our butts kicked, Jimmy. I yes. don't know what happened. We came <laughs> out and Frank Castillo gave up eight runs and seven hits and one and one-thirds innings. Hey, oh, yeah. boy, I tell you. Harry, so you, uh, you enjoying a couple of Budweiser's? You no, know, Johnny, it's a little early for that, but... I'll tell you something. Ball players a day better get their heads where they ought to be. They don't have the same kind of skills they used to. And the pride in the game. Like when Stan Usual played, he never saw Stan. He'd run out every fly ball. Yeah. He's not doing the little thing. <laughs> hey. With you there. Hey, Harry. Yeah. Jill is uh, actually a Sox fan. Die hard. Hi, Harry. I used to work for the White Sox. What? Yeah, that's right. With uh, what's his name? Good old. Uh... Yeah, Ronnie Vac. Boy, he was a good owner. <laughs> oh. So good to me for many years. And, hey, uh, um, say hello to Lane London. Hello, hello Harry. Lane. You know, I haven't. I've yet to go to a baseball oh. game. Well, you're gonna come out. Yeah, I'd love to. No, Lane, you, you can't go there. Funny accents. Are you from Australia? <laughs> Close enough. England, <laughs> New York. Uh, yeah. Uh, never mind. Never uh, mind. You know, Lane spelled backwards is enamel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Harry. Yeah, Jack. Uh, <laughs> it's Jim. Oh, honey, it's Jim. That's right. Jim Drill Masters on that wabbit in the morning. Oh, boy. That's oh, right. Harry, I have something to say, you sweet little man. You, you just... just get away from, you know, the cops for a while and just hang out, hang out with me at Kamitsky Park, Harry. I'll, I'll convert you. Because you're a nice man. Hello? Oh, I think he's, he didn't like it. Harry, wake up. Him. There you are. I had to take a bite of my cheeseburger. Hey, uh, um, oh. Harry. Yeah. Harry, where's Steve at today? No, I don't know. I'm a little worried about Steve. <laughs> we left the game last night. He's a little bit down. You know, we got our butts kicked all oh. over. What? We got a game tonight at 640, and he hadn't called me yet. Was a free meat for breakfast every day. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I heard you're mad because he's uh, smoking those big fat stogies. Those cigars in the in the booth they give to me. I'm going to I'll fool him and I'll tell you and your listeners a little inside story. Well, what's that? I'll go. You know, Steve, if you don't put out that cigar, is going to make me sick. You know, and he'll keep smoking and blowing right in my face. Oh, it's not me nuts. Oh. I'll let one go right at him. I'm <laughs> Uh, yeah, you were just asking for the life of Brian? Yes. Or about it? Uh, he was saying the fish is fit for Jehovah. Jehovah! Jehovah, uh, Jehovah, Jehovah. Great, thank you. No problem. The Wabbit. Yeah, hi, I got a, an answer for the, your uh, name for the Monty Python skit. Yes? It's a Jehovah. Thank you! He goes, Jehovah, Jehovah, and then everyone starts training him. And then he says, I'm trying to make a point here. All right, well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, no problem. Okay. The Wabbit. Hi, my husband said it was Jehovah. Oh, yeah. Have you seen it? No, but my husband really is into all those Monty Python ones, so I just walked into the other room and said, what was that word that they said when they threw the stones in the life of Ryan? And he rattled it off his tongue right away. Rent it. You'll be, like, so much more compatible. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The Wabbit. Yeah, did you get the name? What is it? Jehovah. Jehovah! Yes. I couldn't believe everybody knew it, but, you, you know, it's it's like one of those greatest movies of all time. Freedom or crucifixion? Jehovah! Who's me that rock? Who's wearing? I used to love the fact that they, they, they buy the rocks from the lady at the skin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't you want a half roll? I'll have a round, small one, and a big scratchy one, please. <laughs> you got a haggle? Isn't that oh, the same movie? Right. You got a haggle? Oh. I don't want to haggle. What you got to? Big nose, I got a big nose. Brian can't come out because he's been a naughty boy. <laughs> Pick us, stick us. Do you remember when he was standing there, waking up in the morning, he opened the curtains and he's got nothing on, he's going, oh, and there's like thousands of people. <laughs> yeah, the whole congregation looking up is him looking down, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's the Wabbit's Rock and Roll Breakfast. Lane and uh, Jim Grillo here. It's uh, 9.01 in the morning. Yes. Uh, happy Tax Day, everybody. We'll play Alice in Chains right here. 103.9, the Wabbit.